Hey everyone, holy cow do I have a treat for you. We found a unicorn. Uh, this gentleman, Dennis, he's basically a lottery winner. Look at what this is. This is the 2021 Drag Pack. Yes, I said that correctly. It is the Drag Pack. So Dennis, tell us a little bit um, how you lucked into this thing and uh, how can people follow your journey as you figure out how this works? Sure, no problem. Uh, yeah, I won the lottery, literally won the lottery. Uh, you know, we had a, it was a, it was a draw. You had to sign up to get an email on a certain date and, uh, and the, you know, they said the first 50 people to respond to the email uh, get the drag back. And so literally all day of sitting there, refresh, refresh, refresh is all I did, <laughs> all I did and popped up and I couldn't even spell my name right or anything when I was filling out the damn phone. Oh, you're so shaky, I bet. <laughs> and they called me back, like, we don't even have your right phone number, but they have my email. So anyway, long story, but, so anyway, so I got it, and that was back in September, we found out we were getting them, and just took delivery of it uh, two weeks ago. Oh, so, so it's still a fresh baby. Fresh, yeah, we, just, we did our first runs on it yesterday, uh, oh, ran wow. an 8 on the uh, very second uh, run, we ran at 166 miles an hour. Good Lord stock didn't touch a single thing on it it is an absolute beast it's amazing yeah it, it sounds amazing and, yeah. and did you say you're possibly going to run it tonight uh, yeah yeah i think we're going to run it tonight we're getting it ready so oh yeah uh, as long as we got good track prep uh, we're going to throw it down there we uh, that was a cool goal yesterday i just had to get comfortable with it and i'll tell you what this is the easiest car to drive like i was i was scared of it i was nervous when i first got behind the wheel and the first run that I did, it is just so smooth. It's really a masterpiece. It's just an amazing, uh, amazing machine. So wow, very, very yeah, cool. big shout out to Dodge for for setting this thing up. Oh, you know, man. to yeah. be able Mike to. Mike Rossi uh, and the whole program. There, those guys are geniuses. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So can we look under the hood sure, here and yeah. see what uh, what powers this thing? It's basically a nuclear generator. If somebody <laughs> it sure looks like it. Oh my goodness. And the coolest thing is this is three of 50. So this is the third one. The first two went to uh, uh, factory, the factory race team. So Leah is one, Mark is two, and this is the third one. So I don't think anybody else has these yet. But I just saw on Instagram that Mark got his at the shop uh, just last week. So I literally had it before they did. Uh, wow. I'm like almost shaking holding the camera next to this thing. <laughs> yeah, this is truly a unicorn. Um, I'm so happy that you didn't just shove it in a building. Oh man, I would be doing it justice. I mean, this thing needs to run. It just deserves to be run. Oh my God, yes. This is just an engineering marvel. What, what size is that supercharger? It's a three liter twin screw Whipple. And again, Dodge didn't really tell us too much. They haven't said horsepower numbers. They haven't said anything about the car. I just weighed it for the first time yesterday. And uh, it's 3,700 pounds with me in it, and I weigh 225. Wow. So, there, so that's the actual weight of the car. This is just, yeah. I'm uh, I'm kind of shaking here. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, uh, that was, when I was behind the wheel of this thing for the first time, the grin on my face, I'm, I don't think I've ever smiled that big in my whole life when I first fired it up. I can only imagine. It's yeah, actually it's... my profile picture now on Facebook is that I, I literally have never smiled that big before. <laughs> I just That was just pure ecstasy the first time we did it. So it, was, it was amazing. Oh yeah, as you said, this is definitely car porn. It is car porn. And is, this inst is this Instagram the yeah. only way for them to, to follow you or is there you, anything else you're working on? Or? Uh, this is this is just me, Car Crazy Canuck. I've got uh, a 2018 Demon. I'm restoring a 72 Dart Demon. So I'm actually doing a two Demon tribute with the two cars. And uh, and then I'm gonna be show I'm gonna be racing this and I'm gonna be showing the other two cars, I'm gonna be traveling around, uh, you know, just doing Mopar events, things like that. And you know, it's really cool because the, the the 72 demon is a Mr. Norm demon, oh, and my so it's, it's it was orange with black, yes. and and yeah, my uh, it's the 340 in it. It's uh, uh, it was originally orange, yeah. and uh, my uh, 2018 is Go Mango. So when I repainted it, I actually repainted the 72 Go Mango, and then the 2018 I gave it the same striping package as the 72. Oh. So the two you, all, you can go on follow yeah, Car Crazy Canuck to see all the pictures of it and everything else like that, and all the progress complete like rotisserie restoration every nut and bolt everything like that it's absolutely it's been two and a half years in the making it's almost done oh so my. We'll, be, we'll be showing all three of them we'll be at actually wham in the, uh, september with them so oh no kidding yeah, um, yeah, i think i may around. be flying yeah. i may be flying up there to meet up with you <laughs> so we can see this the beautiful work that you're having done i mean 
still, just look at that roll cage. That, Check it out. Everything is steering like wheel. top of the line. Just, they didn't spare any expenses on this car. They just put together like nothing I've ever seen before. Oh, I just want the dash. I would pull my whole dash just to have that. Like, I want to take that picture and tell, yeah. and tell my guy that does all my work, hey, I want you to do that. Yeah, that dash looks, I mean, it looks like, I have a 1320 Challenger and it's, looks exactly like driving mine, but it's a drag car. We know it's cool, it's cool, because it took all the guts of it. Uh, so the only thing it has is power windows. The power windows actually work, wow. but you can see it's got the Alpine badge, but there's no, obviously no stereo no speakers or anything. There's no HVAC in it, nothing. Sparco seats. I just did a picture of my it's guy. it's manual so. steering. It's the manual brakes on it. It's, no yeah, kidding. Yeah, it's like a, it's an orange. Wow, that is just so. Yeah, this and, is the first and then this, detail this, this time. Is, this is cool too because this is the trunk release right here. That's how you get in the <laughs> front. That's yeah. Wow. And then uh, obviously the back, you have the three-gallon fuel cell. Wow, man. And that's just a standard Mopar battery. You need to get that lightweight battery in oh, here. We'll be working on it. Yeah, <laughs> we got, yeah, so we, we learn the car first, then we're going to play with it a little bit. There's only so much we can do. I, I, I really want to run it in uh, factory super stock. I, I want yeah. To some events, so, yeah, I'll kind of see what I can do. Oh, man. You will have some cheerleaders over here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is just such, such a thing of beauty, man. Uh, want, to, want me to fire it up for you? Want to hear it run? Oh, we would be honored to hear this run. <laughs> He's going to start this for us. Get ready, everybody. Watch your ears. I'll take it. <laughs> Yes, sir. 